One particular afternoon, this unit of ATF guys shows up at the clubhouse. They want everybody's name. They want pictures of everybody. They want to be able to identify them. I immediately start demanding that where in the hell the warrant is, what's going on here. Next thing you know, the Ventura police show up. The Ventura police are going, what are you guys doing here? How come we didn't get a phone call? Where is the warrant? Is it a federal warrant? Is it a local warrant? And you know what? There's no warrant. The ATF has no choice but to back down. But Christy decides it's time to take the offensive. The Olympic torch spirit has captured many people. One of them is 36-year-old George Christy, a tattooed veteran who is also leader of the Ventura, California Hells Angels. There was a torch relay being run from Greece to Los Angeles. We thought that would be something for us to show that we not only were patriots, but uh, we had no intentions of disrupting the Olympics. And in fact, we were going to participate in the Olympics. Christie qualified to carry the torch after he and the group collected $3,000 for the Special Olympics charity. We're not terrorists. We support the Olympics, and uh, we're not out to cause anybody a problem. The group left the local clubhouse in formation, and it's what the event that would make Hell's Angels history. At the site, Christie took off with the crowd's approval. And at the beginning of this tunnel of American flags, it says, America salutes the Hell's Angels. And that says it all. <laughs> 